Top 4 Political Assassinations That Shook Kenya 1. Tom Mboya Thomas Joseph Mboya was one of the most brilliant minds Kenya has ever had since independence. A Pan-Africanist, author and a trade unionist, he was regarded as one of the most highly acclaimed statesmen at that time. He was one of the founding fathers of the Republic of Kenya. He led the negotiations for independence at the Lancaster House Conference. He however met his sudden death on 5 July 1969 on Government Road, Nam Avenue in Nairobi CBD after visiting Shani's pharmacy. He was then the Minister for Economic Planning and Development. It was a quiet Saturday afternoon when he had stepped into Shani's pharmacy to purchase a bottle of lotion. As he emerged out of the pharmacy, an assassin, who was later identified as Na on the Jengu opened fire, escaping in the ensuing confusion. Mboya was struck in the chest, blood soaking his suede jacket. Tom Mboya died in an ambulance on the way to Nairobi Hospital. Grieving Kenyans soon gathered in such numbers at the hospital that baton wielding police were called out to keep the crowd at bay. It is said that Tom Mboya had very many political enemies. He had personal enemies also. Politically, it is said that he was killed to head off any possibility of his presidency in future. His assassination led to protests all over the country and it brewed up hatred between the Kikuyus and Luos. 2. J. M. Koryuki. Josiah Mwangi Koryuki was a Kenyan socialist politician during the administration of Jomo Kenyatta's government. He held different government positions from Kenya's independence in 1963 until his assassination in 1975. He was last seen walking out of Hilton Hotel after a brief chat over tea. It is said that he was betrayed by a friend. His badly decomposed body was found in the Ngong forest by a herdsman and taken to city mortuary where it was booked in as unidentified adult male. At the Hilton Hotel that day, J.M. had had an interview with a Reuters correspondent. He lamented about Kenyan politics and how, during the last general election, he had been stopped from campaigning. 3. P.O. Gamma Pinto he was a Kenyan journalist, politician and freedom fighter. He was a socialist leader who dedicated his life to the liberation of the Kenyan people and became independent Kenya's first martyr in 1965. In Nairobi, on 24 February 1965, Pinto was shot at very close range in the driveway while waiting for the gate to open. He was with his daughter in his car at the time of his killing. There was a man hunt for the three gunmen. Kizilu Mutwu and Shege Thiuo, teenagers at the time, were arrested on the day of the murder. Kizilu and Shege informed the CID that they were hired by Okla Makanyengo, the secretary general of the Kenya Petroleum Oil Workers Union to frighten Pinto ostensibly on account of his interfering with the union. 4. Robert Uko. Dr. John Robert Uko served as Foreign Minister of Kenya from 1979 to 1983 and from 1988 to 1990. He served in the government of Kenya from the colonial period through the presidencies of Jomo Kenyatta and Daniel Arap Moi. On the night of 12-13 February 1990, Uko disappeared from his Koru farm complex near Mahoroni. His housemaid Selina Wondlo testified that she was awakened at about 3 a.m. by a noise similar to a door being slammed shut but sufficiently loud enough to startle her awakened that she saw a white car turning at the bottom of the minister's driveway before driving away. It was later revealed that Uko was carried away in that car. Uko's body was found later that day, the 13th of February, at approximately 1 p.m. by a local herds boy. Joseph Shikaku at the foot of nearby Gotalila Hill, 2.8 kilometers from Uko's country home. Though he told local villagers of the find, they did not report the fact to the police. Uko's body was eventually officially discovered on 16 February, following a police search. Forensics revealed that he had a gunshot wound, his right leg broken in two places and his body left partially burned. Initial police reports suggested that Uko had committed suicide but it became known that Uko had also been shot as well as burnt. Pressure from the public led to the then president, Daniel Arap Moi to hire the Scotland Yard from Britain to look into the matter. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share and comment at Shashava Vlogs.